his spirit. For God is in the land. And you know what? We welcome you, Lord Jesus. So glad you come down from the sky and to be with us all the time. Wonderful, 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 wonderful Lamb of God who take it away the sins of the world. And you know what? I think a lot of people forget about that. But not me and not him. We are here to celebrate always the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm glad he was born for you and I'm glad he was born for me. So good it is to be like the apostles, hallelujah, who walk with him, I can testify, and who talk with him. And he gave us victory. All the time there's nothing but victory. You know? What can I say? I am so thankful this morning. God is still on the throne and his word will not return void. And we are happy, we are happy people because we know the truth, we live in it because we live in him. So thankful this morning for the greatest of the greatest of the kings of kings. And I'm so proud of him. And I hope everybody feels the same way I do because it's good to be with him. Every day you live, every night you go to sleep, you go sleeping confidence that he's gonna wake you up early in the morning and bless you. Look down upon you while you yet sleeping and say, rest of my child, rest my children. I am thy God, I am thy Lord. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, you, you, so good. You're so kind, you're so merciful. You've already blessed us over and over every time we open up our eyes, every time we breathe. And every time, Lord, our hearts start beating, we know that it's you. We know you have already blessed us. And when we get up in the morning, there is a new dawn, a new day. And how great thou art. You're so kind and wonderful to wake us up. We care for you. I pray that millions of people will soon watch this program, Jesus, and be happy with us. We need happiness in the land, so much sorrow. So God, we look to you, we know that you're for us because we are for you. You loved us first, so thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen and amen. I am excited this morning, happy I am, I'm really happy. I have my son here with me this day who, a scholar to me, not a doctor, not any words that men will claim to be, but because the man called Jesus touched him. And from the moment of, he began to roll and scroll in the spirit of the Almighty. Thank you, Lord, so much for everything, everything. And his name is, I'll give you a name, Brother Shane. <laughs> i give you a name, Brother Shane, if they call you Brother Shane, brother, like the apostles, they call one another brothers. And God is so good. My question this morning to you is why do the heathens rage? Why are they raging? Will you tell us, please? Well, because they hate God. You have to talk about it, please. Because they hate God. They hated him in the beginning. Just like Jesus said, he said, marvel not that they hate you. He said, they hated me before they hated you. So he said, marvel not at this. You have to talk a little bit about it, please. You marvel not at this is what the Lord told us. Mm -hmm. They hated him, even his own forsook him. And they partook at his, when he died, they were consenting to it. He said, don't marvel, because he, he that glorifies God will suffer persecution. You're going to suffer. One way or the other, you're going to suffer. 
and anyone who carries the sentence of death. Because in the book of Corinth, he said, we all carry the sentence of death, but we are also comforted by the comfort where we are comforted of God. So anyone who preached the gospel of peace will suffer. The world received its own. But Jesus told us, but as many as received him, to them he gave power to treat upon the head of servants. Mm -hmm. If the heathens are raging, like you said, they hate God, right? Yes, ma'am. Why is it people today against his word? Jesus said they don't understand the scripture, nor the will of God. So they hate him because we hate things that we don't understand. They perceive not. When the scripture said, Isaiah said, they hear him, but they hear not. Their hearts, they perceive not. He said, all the day long I have stretched forth my hands into a gainsaying and disobedient people, and yet all they will not hear me, saith the Lord. Christ is always there for us. And like he said, he has stretched forth his hands. He stretched forth his glory. And he's given us his love. But the world don't want Christ. They want their own. Because they have pleasure in the things that they're doing. It's not always, you know, the scripture tells us, it's not, people don't want what's good for them. You know, they, in other words, Christ is good. But they don't want Christ. They want what feels good. And this is where the pleasures of sin is in the world. This is why people, you know, we get accustomed to our flesh. And when you're living in the flesh for so long, you get so accustomed to it. And then the next thing you know, the Lord, you know, being disobedient, he will turn you over to a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about that. Being a reprobated mind is for someone that has, has been sinning, someone who's heard the truth, but they won't receive the truth. They have pleasure in their unrighteousness, while at the same time, God is trying to call us into repentance. But through the constant uh, denying and, uh, and not receiving the truth for so long, and we do it, we do it every time we hear God calling us, but we turn away, we, we're ignorant. Like Paul says, because of the blindness of their heart, they don't want to receive the truth. So they do it ignorantly. And when you do it constantly and constantly knowing what God's word says, because scripture says, thy shall not kill, thy shall not steal, thy shall not commit adultery. We know the commandments. Mm -hmm. But when we continue to rebel against the standard, the laws of Moses, but Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. But when we consistently, continuously in our hearts rebel and refuse the truth, God at one point will turn you over to a reprobated mind. Reprobated mind, it's basically he'll give you over to your sin. And you no longer will have the will to come unto him. He, he takes all that away. So when the spirit comes, he rebukes us, but he also convicts the conscience. That's why the scripture said, and they're burnt with a hot iron. Your conscience is seared and burnt with a hot iron because it gets to the point to where so much pleasure in sin and God is so, so, so much of a holy God that his spirit will not draw you anymore. It will give you over to the lust of the flesh. If you just continuously hear it and continuously disobey God's word, that's what he does. Why? Why can't they catch on to God? Or why can't they catch on to the name Jesus? Or why can't they? There are three of the Trinity. Why can't they catch on? to the Holy Spirit. No, one of the two of the three being pronounced. I don't care, you hear people talk about God. You hear some talk about Jesus. And then you hear some talk about the Holy Spirit. Now, they can catch on to one. See, one is being presented at all times. Right. So why can't people catch on to one? for a miracle which would change that inner. God can change it. God turns you over to Jesus 
And Jesus turned you to, over to the Holy Spirit because of the how and the time. So what's wrong with them accepting all three as one? Well, one of it is, is that they, they have not come into the knowledge of the truth. They have not come into the knowledge of the truth. Paul declared, he said, I would that all men everywhere will come into the knowledge of the truth. Uh, like Paul said, what is the truth? The truth is in Christ Jesus. Okay. When he proclaimed John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father. The Father. The Father. They can't come. They, they can't, can't come. come. Yes, ma'am. They can't come unto the Father. Okay. Is that not telling a lot of them out there what he said? You can't come to the Father but by me. So that puts two right there, right? Yes, ma'am. Would Jesus pronounce himself as Father when he knew he has a Father? No, ma'am. When Jesus prayed, Jesus always made a reference to his Father in heaven. His Father in heaven. Now, as a matter of fact, Psalms uh, 110, Psalms 110 and 1 says, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I have made thine enemies thy footstool. How can God sit on the right hand and be on his throne at the same time? It doesn't make sense. This is the problem with the world today. They don't want to receive Jesus because they hate Jesus. Now they're saying Jesus is not the Messiah. They're saying he's not the Son of God. Whosoever therefore profess that Jesus is the Son of God is of the spirit of truth. Whosoever confesseth not that he is the Son of God is a spirit of error. And that's why many antichrists and many false prophets are going out before us. They were of us. They went out with us. Mm -hmm. If they were of us, no doubt they would have continued with us. Mm -hmm. And because they received not the knowledge of the truth, they refused him, the Holy One of Israel. There are three. Jesus proclaimed in Matthew 28, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Father, the Creator, the Son, whom he sent into the world who died for our sins. Mm -hmm. And the Comforter, he said, I will send back the Comforter yeah. that will lead you and guide you into all truth. Yes. And I will bring all things back to your remembrance. Yes. This, is the, this is the world. This is the doctrines, false doctrines that has infiltrated the world. And this is what we're hearing on TikTok, YouTube. These men, these false prophets are, oh, hallelujah, they are blasphemous names. Paul said... His name is continuously being blasphemed every day through you. Uh -huh. They blaspheme that holy name by which we are called. Yes. But there is none other than the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Acts 4.12, what did it tell us? For there be no other name under the whole heavens whereby men must be saved. No other name other than the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The resurrected Jesus Christ. There is none. Yes. Hallelujah. And Paul gives us proof. I believe that's 1 Corinthians 15. Now he came and he died according to the scriptures. And he was buried according yes. to the scriptures. But on the third day he rose up. Yes. Hallelujah. He's all power is in my hand. From yes. heaven and earth. Yes. That's what he said. He said, God, my father has given me all power. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. When he rose from the dead, yes, resurrected on the third day. Seen above 500 brethren. And Paul said, and last of all, he was seen of me as I was the last one, as one that was born out of due season. Uh -huh. In other words, we are all men most miserable. Anyone that die, denies him, he says, we are all men most miserable. You are miserable if you don't know Jesus. Amen. You put yourself in that situation. Amen. God didn't put us in that situation. He warned us through the holy apostles and prophets. And even the prophets of old, they prophesied that a Messiah should come. But these men today are denying him. They're saying that God is Jesus. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. It's true. They're one, but they're still three different characters. Uh -huh. And they deny the Holy One of Israel. And they have perverted Isaiah 9. Mm -hmm. They have perverted it. They have. Unto us a, son, uh, unto us a child is born. Yes. Unto us a son is given. Yeah. Yeah. And upon his shoulders the government shall be laid. He shall be wonderful, counselor, mighty God, 
Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Yes. That's yes. what he said. Yes. Hallelujah. And they have took that scripture and perverted it. When we get raptured, they say God is coming down to rapture the church. Nowhere in the Bible you see the word rapture. You don't see it. But it's called in Revelation, it's called the first resurrection. Mm -hmm. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Mm -hmm. such, oh, hallelujah. Mm. The second death hath no power. Yeah. But we shall be as kings and priests, and we shall reign with him for 1,000 years. Hallelujah. hallelujah. They need to read the scriptures. Paul declared, uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God. For a workman needeth not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Somebody ain't studied the Bible. And, and they do not have the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost will lead us and guide us into all truth. He will give us an understanding, a full understanding of God's word. And to make, oh, hallelujah. When Stephen was being stoned to death, for by reason of Judas' transgression, they cast lots. Stephen was chosen. And he rebuked the elders, the high priest. He rebuked them. And what did they do? They gnashed at the teeth. They cast him out of the city. They stoned him to death. His proof. While they were stoning him, <laughs> he looked towards heaven. And he saw the glory of God, Jesus Christ, standing on the right hand yes. of the Father. Yes. I don't understand why these men rebuke him. Why do they not understand? Mm -hmm. There are two. Yes, sir. There are two, and yet there are three. Jesus said, when I go to the Father, they weren't, he said, touch me not, for I have not ascended to my Father. Yes. He said, I'm going to send you back the Comforter. Yes. If he's going, he's going to prepare a place for us. Yes, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Uh -huh. He said, if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again and receive you unto yes, myself. That where I am that you may be also. We got mansions waiting for us. We people don't know. We label for those things which are not. We can't take none of those things to heaven. These Amen. preachers are boasting about their cars, their money. This is not what the gospel is about. They need to be rebuked. Amen. It's Amen. about preaching the gospel to Jesus Amen. Christ. That if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then shall I be saved. This is what the gospel is about. They deny the Holy One of Israel. Glory to God. For with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. Yes. That whosoever believeth in him shall be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, the the there is no controversy concerning the word of God. Hallelujah. There is no controversy concerning the word of God. Hallelujah. Great is the mystery of godliness. God is manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, preached unto the world, and believed on by the Gentiles, and received back up in the glory. Why can't men receive that? It's too many debates. Uh -huh. we, we condemning one another. Uh -huh. they, they condemning one another. The preachers are condemning one another instead of doing that. I know Paul did say rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. But there comes a time after rebuke, love should set in. Yes. Warn them that are unruly amongst you, is what the word says. Comfort the feeble mind and support the weak and abstain from all appearance of evil. But there comes a time that we got to do it in love. we got to pray for those ones. Amen. Pray for them. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. Let the first, let, hey, he that's what I'm saying, let him cast the first stone. For everyone is doing all is condemned, and they are sinners themselves. Amen. For there's none righteous, saith the Lord. None. Damn it. None. None righteous. There is none that do a good except the Lord. Yes. For they all have gone out of the way. Yes. They are all together become unprofitable. Mm -hmm. There is none that do a good. No, not one. For their throat is an open sepulchre. Yes. And with their tongues they have used to see. Uh -huh. The poison of ashes under their lips. Uh -huh. Their mouths are full of bitterness and cursing. Okay. Misery and destruction are in their ways. And the ways of peace they have not known. Yes, there is no fear in them, saith the Lord, a fear of God. But the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. Being witnessed by the law of the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by Christ Jesus, of whom God has set forth to be a propitiation for us, to declare his righteousness, his righteousness, I say, 
And this is the promise. They are denying Jesus Christ. They hate him. Jesus said, Martha, not. They hate me. They're going to hate you. That's, right. That's, right. That's what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. That's what he says. Hallelujah. They hate that worthy man. The holy one of Israel, John the Baptist, declared, Behold, the Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. Yes. And whom shoe latched I'm not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with power. <laughs> the Holy Ghost and with power. I indeed baptize you with water. Oh, oh yeah. But he that cometh after me is more mighty than I. I'm not worthy to unloose. Hallelujah. I'm not worthy. Hallelujah. He said, I must decrease so that he may increase. And even on the day of his baptism, hallelujah, he said, I have no need to be baptized with thee. Jesus said, suffer to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Yes, John the Baptist, Baptist, baptized. John didn't know who he was at the time. Uh -huh. But then the heavens opened, and behold, the Spirit of God came down as a dove and didn't like upon him. He knew who he was then. Behold the Lamb of God, yes. who take yes. away the sins of the world. Yes. Who shall declare it to this generation? Amen. Who shall declare it? I was with him in the beginning, saith the Lord. I was there with him even before the creation, even before any, all things. Hallelujah. And what we got to understand this whole creation, everything that you see, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world is clearly seen, being understood by the things which are made, even his eternal power and Godhead. For they are without excuse. For when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. And neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts was darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of God into an image made like unto man, and to the four-footed beast and the creeping thing. Hallelujah. They change it. They change it. And that's the problem today because we're walking in the flesh. Uh -huh. We need to get the Holy Ghost Amen. and understand Amen. what the full will of the Lord is. Mm -hmm. That is the problem. Yes. You All you hear is money, cars, prosperity. Wait a minute. That's not what Jesus said. He said, go ye into all nations, teaching them, baptizing them in the name of the Father yes, and of the Son yes, and of the Holy Ghost. Yes, and to observe all things which I have commanded him. He said, yes. no, I am with you always until yes. the end of the world. Yes, that's what he said, and, and we don't see that. And I get upset. And, and I'm going to say I went at it with a few of them on the web and rebuked them. Gave them the word. Some of them, they'll come back on you, and you don't know what you're talking about. I said, surely you don't understand scriptures. You don't understand scriptures. The commandment was already given unto us. And You remind me so much of Peter when he was given the message about Jesus. Yes, he went all the way back, I'm talking about from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, and, and you remind me of, like I say, brother to me is better than calling names like apostles all, because when you're brother, you're all of them. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> you're all of them, because yes, brother means you have humbled yourself you yes, know, before the Lamb of God. Yes, and to me, brother is like unto others. Mm -hmm. Yet God calls one at the time he called Peter yes, to be the spokesman. Yes, so it, it, it come up and sing, but how dead it is yes, to hear the word of the Lord. Yes, Truly, yes, angel man, whom I always call, yes, has touched you yes, and yes. gave you victory. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Let me Amen. sing my young mic and all be well. Praise God. They always said this love. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Father, we've come to 
yells and in a loud voice together they cry. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise to him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. We pray and honor and glory and power forever and forever he lives. You reign. He's the Lord God of liberty. We exalt you. We extol we adore you, Jesus. Worthy is your merciful name, Lord.
You know, God is so good. Yes, yes. yes Lord. Yes, that was meant for you to sing. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. 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 And it blends so well the Father, yes, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. How great thou art. Yes, sir. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Yes, yes. Wonderful Jesus. You know, he, he gives melody and in songs the word of God goes deep, deep, deep down. You did it. Wonderful this morning. Excellent. I said I will say nothing but one word to you to prove that there is a God and the Son's word. God sent his Son. Son gave the word. And the Son gave his life. That the Spirit may come down. Yes. By the same authority which is from the Father Amen. given to the Son. Amen. And the Son says, I give my life. I give my life. Yes, and in giving his life, he, the Spirit comes from the Father down. Amen. And that's what you all are carrying. Amen. That's what you can. The spirit is in you. The hope of glory. Wonderful Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wonderful counselor. Wonderful master. God is an awesome God. Yes, he is. Isn't he wonderful out there? Yeah. People who are saying, isn't he wonderful? Yeah. And the way you praised him from, yes. for being on the throne and yes, his man. angels on the throne. Yes, sir. Then the heavens and the heavens over here, even him, declare. Yes. <laughs> the heavens declare. Yes, Lord. The glory of God. The heavens did. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hand, his handiwork. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful, yes. mighty, mighty, mighty spirit yes, of the yes, living yes, God. Yes, yes. Come up. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Tony, come up. And we serenade the blessings. Come up, Brother John. We serenade. The almighty, mighty, 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 mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the streaming of his powers. The streaming of his powers. The streaming of his powers. The streaming of his power. It streams. Hallelujah, come down. Like floating rivers of water. Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. How blessed we are to be up under that power of that living God. How blessed we are to be up under the powers of that living God. Nothing but power. Ooh, Jesus. To heal, to heal, to heal, to heal, to heal, to heal. Oh, Lord Jesus. Just a few words from you and a few words from him. So we'll go hold it. All I can say is it's awesome how God has put this together and everything fall right into place. You can tell when God is in the midst. Everything is so beautiful. Shane, you've done wonderful, just marvelous. I enjoyed it. I sit there, tears was coming out of my eyes because how people hate Jesus. But you did wonderful. And Dwight, that song was so outstanding. It was just so beautiful. And you can 
say to any, anybody, say anything about Jesus when he has anointed you all yeah. to do what you're doing. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, okay. So you can tell, oh, glory. The Father's in the midst. Yeah. And especially with you, the oh, head of the temple. Yeah. And we thank God for you. Yeah. Ooh, you deserve the best. Yeah. You deserve and, and, and Jesus, <laughs> yes, Jesus. But Jesus and you, Patricia and Jesus, deserve the best. Carry him, carry him in your heart. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Praise John. Praise the Lord. The anointing. Uh -huh. He tell when he so, calls on you. <laughs> oh. One thing, you asked the question, why they don't accept God? I think the scripture tells us to fear God, right? Uh -huh. It's all right. <laughs> when you got the Holy Ghost, that's Thank what it is. <laughs> and, and as we talk to people and tell them about Jesus, they don't, like you say, understand. Mm -hmm. I go back to that same old scripture. With all I get and get some understanding of who Jesus is. Amen. Amen. Understand why he died and why he rose again. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I listen and I hear, I don't need, I don't need that. Be surprised how much you do need. Amen. Amen. Until you come into the knowledge of who Jesus really is. And we always sing in that song. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. Some people have heard of him, but do you know who he really is? Amen. Oh, glory! What he was really for. Yes. You yes. know, people are going to enjoy you. <laughs> Get it back in my just, just for a second. People gonna enjoy you because the Holy Ghost just bounces out of you. Amen. And, and you can't help it. You can't help. You can't help with it. That's right. You can't help. It. I, I, I can remember. Uh, That's what the Turner said to me. What's wrong with that man? <laughs> and we was at a ball game. He said, What's wrong with that man? That ain't nothing but the Holy Spirit. He can't help it. That's right. And he, and he always said, the Spirit is upon you. You can't help it. Amen. You can't. Amen. You just can't. Mm -hmm. I thank God that I can't. Because mm -hmm. when you deny the Spirit, yes. uh -huh. when uh -huh. you're not happy, like he was talking about, when the Spirit is upon you, you are happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, glory. You know, I love to see it because I said, now he's not going to carry out his sentences uh -huh. <laughs> because the Lord is in every word you speak. <laughs> so you illustrate it. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, oh, wonderful yeah. counselor. Thank God. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. hallelujah. This has been a marvelous yes. day. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's been a marvelous Rose day. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Give him my the anointing is upon you. Oh, yes. yes, 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 yes. And that's one special song mm -hmm. that you sing. And each time that you sing it, it's a blessing to all of us. Oh, yes, yes. yes Especially to me because when you get to that part, my hands, my heart, my life. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. And I'm always saying, it's a mighty good thing to be chosen by God with your life, showing people that you live for Him. Amen. Sometimes, you get strong on Feel it. It's passing. It's rolling. Feel it. Woo. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Hey! Ooh, they won't accept you.
They want to get away from you. But I understood too what uh, Larry was saying. Well, we just got to keep on walking. That's right. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, man. We worship him this morning, but we thank God for it. Yeah. So we ask Tommy to go play. Let Tommy play while yet we would say goodbye for just a little while. And we will be back to praise our God, yes. play time, and let the miracles, that's a miracle. When, it's one of your miracles when we see you do that. Yes. And it's a miracle when you can give honor. Everybody can give honor and mean it from the heart. Mm. No, 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 no. You got to be pure in heart to give honor. And you, the dove of the sweetness of the kindness that rolls from your mouth. Yes, sir. God invites people yeah. to be like him. Yeah. To be just like him. And when you're like him, it calls others to bow. Yeah. And they see themselves through the dove. Because the dove only clean. Covered around Jesus. Yes. So they will see the same dog. And you, brother, shame. Angel man did this, he turned around and he touched you. When I looked back and I saw that, there was only one, you remember that, there was only one that touched you. No man. It was he himself that did the work. And it was he himself who would finish anything that he starts. So look into the hills from which coming your help. Yes, yes, yes. Where your help coming from the Lord, Amen. which made heaven and yes. So he's real up here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's real up here. Yes, yes, yes. Each one of you had identified your spirit. Isn't God good? I say, if you don't grab hold of the Father, you grab hold of the Son. If you don't grab hold of the Son, the Holy Spirit welcomes us all into the kingdom of God. That's why he came. To bring us into the kingdom of the Most High. So we all raise our hands and thank you, Jesus, for being for being with us, blessing us each and every time we come. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you. Stay blessed, people. Stay humble. For our God is a true God. Amen. And amen. Shake his hand. Shake your hand. And we shake his hand. And Jesus, we all <laughs> praise you. Amen. With praises and thanks for evermore.
fall in love with you and the words you sing about Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who God got a nation of people waiting for you all. And it's special for you, Sister Turner. But you, 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 you. He said, my daughter, my daughter, you got to go. You got to go and take the rod as Moses did. Go get my people. They are lost. You got to go save them. Through Christ, you're going to save them. And many of the, the, the ones that are serving either gods, other gods, going to turn from them and serve Christ through them. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord. And people, people out there, pray for the ones that are falling down. Don't condemn them. Pray for them. As Brother Shane said, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Pray for them. Pray for them. They need your prayers. For the sake of the Lord, be blessed.